all you guys need to do is go to your app store and download GoPro app okay so just download the free version there's no need to buy one or anything like that it's all free all good and we're gonna go into our app okay so let's just go into GoPro and once you go into it and you press add device so let me just get out of here you guys are gonna press the first option up here which says connect your camera and from there you guys are gonna pick which camera you guys have so in this case it's the H3 and it's gonna tell you what to do so it's turned on already so it's the first step that you have to do then you just press continue it's gonna tell you to turn on your Wi-Fi which is right on the side okay and you should see that light we're gonna go next and it tells you to go to your settings we're gonna do exactly that so let's just go right into our settings under our settings we just have to go into Wi-Fi okay and you're gonna see your GoPro right there so click on your GoPro it's gonna ask you for a password the default password is GoPro hero so we're just gonna type that in join and it should work okay if you guys have an older camera then you have to reset the settings for Wi-Fi so you guys can erase whatever password you had from before and then you guys can just put in to default which is GoPro here okay so right now we're connected and uh, we're gonna minimize this we're gonna go back to our app that we had on and that's right here so right now it should say searching and from there okay so your GoPro you have to name it and uh, make, make sure it's eight characters so just put in something like GoPro hero AC -Gavar. well that's what I'm gonna name it um, from there I'm just gonna put in password which is gonna be 008 times you guys can put any password you like I so just keeping it simple now let's make sure that we're connected So here it is. Now you did set a new password, so we're just gonna put that in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from there, choose join. There we go. Now we can go back to our GoPro app. Let's just click on it. And we're gonna start a preview. Okay guys, so this is for an iPhone, so once you click on the camera, um, if you see start preview and you guys don't see anything there, it's just a black screen, just turn off your GoPro. So turn it off completely. To turn it off, you just have to hold on to this power button. And then it's going to beep, turns off, turn it back on, turn on your Wi-Fi. Okay, just tap on it. And then go back to your app. And then it should be working. Okay. Um, now, it does hap that does happen for the first time. You might have to turn on, turn off your... GoPro right there but uh, apart from that you guys should see whatever your GoPro is looking at you should see on here with a little bit of lag okay um, now to look at pictures that you've taken before a video just have to tap here okay and here it tells you no media so right now if you click on there it will tell you if you need an update at this point okay so right now we don't need an update and that's why it's not telling us that but um, it would tell us if uh, we would need one. So right now, we don't want this. We want to take photos. So again, all you guys have to do is click right here. And then you can choose from video, photos, whatever you guys want. Um, just make sure to choose whatever you guys want. So I just want a photo right now. And to take the photo, all we have to do is click there. So we took a picture right now. We're going to click on the red button again. So we took another picture right now and right now what I want to show you guys if you click right here you guys should be able to see the two pictures okay so I clicked on there and now I'm looking at the two pictures that I took um, now I get a quick preview but I can also click on them and get the picture I can also download it to my iPhone at this point I can also just delete it so that's up here and I'm gonna delete that one okay so the options right here to delete or not so I'm just gonna click on delete and let's say I want to download the, this one that I took right now, which I'm just going to press right here. 
okay? So it can do high res or just low res. If you want Facebook or something like that, I would suggest just doing low res, doesn't matter. And high res for something else. Um, although high res isn't that much, it's only five megapixels. Or if you have a higher GoPro, you might have 10 megapixels. So I'm gonna go for high res and you should see this. And it's gonna go directly to your camera roll. Okay, that's how it works. Um, and that's it. So that's it for the app. Those are the basics. You can also go into settings, for example, and just look up other stuff that you have there uh, for res video resolution and so on. So we always want our video resolution to be 1080 for sure. Um, this, we don't have a choice at the moment. And that's for those settings. Um, something else that I would change for you guys is the beeping. Uh, the beeping, I would always leave it at 70 or off. Um, I usually like to have it at 70 just because when you have it on your head you want something to beep when you touch a button so you know what's going on. Um, what else? Yeah, that's it for now. From there, just go back to it. Again, you should see whatever your camera sees on your phone or your iPad or iPad Switch. Okay, same thing for Android phones and you can turn off your GoPro right there. Okay, so that's it. Uh, from your GoPro app, you can do a lot of things, okay? So I'm gonna show you on your GoPro the exact same thing. So you do have those options. So if you go into mode right now, so if you tap on here, um, for example, this takes various shots. This is a timer, okay? So you have two seconds, so you can set it up different. Um, from here, you just go into settings. So to go right into settings, just press up here. And you should see this. If you go down on it, then you can do the setup to two seconds. We're gonna put it up to five seconds and 10 seconds. 10 seconds, usually the average, so we'd set it up like that. So just press that, 10 seconds. Um, what else, guys? Wireless, okay. So some of you might have problems with your wireless. Okay, to sync it up to your phone. So you can always go up here. We're gonna click there, and here's our GoPro app. Okay, so from here you can turn it off, turn it on, Wi-Fi rack, and so on. Um, I wouldn't touch too much stuff from this area, but we're just gonna click there. It's gonna tell you if it's paired or not, so we're all good. Um, and that's it. Anyways, those are the basics for your GoPro. If you guys want to update your GoPro, all you guys have to do is, is get your SD out or hook up your, your GoPro to your computer. I usually like getting my SD out and hooking that up to my computer. From there, you just have to go to gopro.com support. Uh, it's gonna ask you to pretty much register your GoPro. So you guys are gonna have to take out your battery to look up the serial number inside. And from there, you guys just have to download the update for it, okay? Uh, at this point, like I said, you guys don't need to update if you can view your pictures on your phone. If you can't, then you need an update for your GoPro. Other than that, you should be good to go. Uh, for most of you, you're pretty much good to go. To update, it's pretty easy. All you guys do is drag in the files that you updated to your SD card, put your SD card inside, turn on your camera, and then it's gonna update by itself. Okay, that's all you guys have to do. Um, you're gonna have to wait for it. It's gonna update, it's gonna take around five, 10 minutes, maybe, maximum 10 minutes, and that's about it. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.